Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix mount and blade to banner lord war sales game crashing, not launching, not loading, lagging, freezing, or other issues on PC. So let's go through the methods. So uh, before going to the methods, ensure to download mount blade and blade to banner lord game on Steam to play this game hassle free. So uh, after that, follow the methods. So the very first method is to restart your PC. For that, click on the Windows icon over here. Now click on Power, then select Restart. And after that, uh, check if the game is launching or not. If not, next is to modify launch options. So for that, go to Steam under Library section, select your game. Here I am showing you an example. Now right click on it, click on Properties. Now under General here, you have to type minus DX11 and then launch the game and check if it is working or not. If not, again come back, type minus DX12 and then launch the game and check if it's working if not remove this launch option and move to the next solution next method is to update your graphics card so for that go to the windows search search for device manager now here expand display adapters select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers so this will check and update your graphics drivers after that check if the problem is resolved or not nvidia and amd users go through the link already provided in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there Next method is to verify integrity of game files. So for that, uh, go to Steam under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on properties, now click on install files and then click on verify integrity of game files. So this will check and verify the game files. After that, launch the game and check. Next solution is to allow the game through firewall. For that, go to the Windows search, search for Windows security. Now click on firewall and network protection, click on allow an app through firewall. Click on change settings. Now after that, here you have to search for the game if it's listed. If not, click on allow another app. Now click on browse. Then go to the game folder where your game has been installed. Select the game application. Add it to the list over here. Now after adding it, you have to search for the game. After that, select it. Make sure both public and private boxes are ticked. Click on OK and then launch the game and check. If not, next method is to run game from the installation folder. So for that, go to Steam under library section. Select your game. Right click on it. Click on manage. Now click on browse local files. This will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed. Here you have to select the game application and double click on it and then check if the game is opening or not. If not, now uh, run the game as administrator. For that, right click on the game application, click on properties, now click on compatibility. Here select run this program as an administrator, click on apply and OK and then launch the game and check. If not, again come back, select run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8 or Windows 7 and then hit on apply and OK and then launch the game. If not, again come back, select disable full screen optimizations, click on apply and OK and then launch the game and check if this resolves the issue. If the error still occurs, now deselect all of this, click on apply and OK and then move to the next solution. Next solution is to check graphic settings of the game. So when a graphic settings are pro not properly set up like texture quality, resolution etc. then it directly impacts the game. And this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues as it plays a vital role. You are suggested to set FPS to 60 and also turn off vSync option and you are suggested to lower the graphic settings to avoid any kind of unwanted issues after that launch the game and check if it is working if not next method is to switch from hdd to ssd so if your game is installed on hard disk then you are suggested to move to ssd and then check so what you need to do is go to steam under uh, steam here click on steam option now click on settings now after that go to storage and here you can see the list of games that is installed click on it and check if your game is installed on hdd so you have to simply move to ssd for that select the game and then from here you can easily move to the game to ssd and after that launch the game and check if this helps to fix the issue if not next method is to stop overclock uh, cpu and gpu setting so sometimes overclocking makes the cpu or gpu unstable so you are suggested to check if there is any overclocking of CPU or GPU in the background. This will help you to fix the issue. Next solution is to disable in-game overlays. So Steam users, uh, go to Steam. Steam users, go to Steam. Now click on Steam option, then click on settings. Now click on in-game. And then here you can see enable the Steam overlay while in-game option. If it is enabled, you have to click on it to disable it. Now after you disable Steam overlay while in-game, now launch the game and check. GeForce Experience users open GeForce Experience tap on gear icon beside username click on general and switch off in-game overlay options from here for discord overlay go to the user settings game overlay app switch off enable in-game overlay option then check 
next method is to install visual c++ files so for that i have already provided the link in the description just copy and paste it in your browser after the website opens go below and here you have to click on the link to download visual c++ files now after it is downloaded open it you will get repair or install option yeah click on repair and wait for some time now after you get set up successful message close this and then restart your pc and after restarting again log into the game and check if it is working or not if not next method is to update windows so for that go to the windows search search for check for updates so search for check for updates this will take you to the windows update page here you have to click on check for updates option here in my case i have already an update so uh, it's saying restart now so you will get check for updates option over here simply click on it and it will check and if there is any update available click on the update option and then launch the game and check next is to disable antivirus program as well as firewall so for that go to the windows search search for windows security now click on virus and threat protection then go below click on manage settings and here you have to turn off real time protection after turning off close this go to the windows search search for windows defender firewall now click on turn windows defender firewall on or off and here you have to select turn off windows defender firewall in both public and private network settings click on okay and then launch the game and check but again come back later on and enable the protection next method is to run game on dedicated graphics card so for that go to the windows search search for graphics settings search for graphics settings and open it now here you have to add your game to the list for that click on add a desktop app after that go to the game folder where your game has been installed select the application add it to the list over here now after adding it here you have to select the game and uh, click on the arrow icon now after that under gpu preference you have to select high performance and after that launch the game and check if it's working or not if not then the final solution is to reinstall mount and blade to banner lord war sales game for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage now click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option so this will remove the game completely from your system after that restart your pc and again launch steam and reinstall mount and blade to banner lord war sales game and then click on the play button to check if it's opening or not so through these methods you can easily resolve the crashing not launching not loading lagging freezing or other issues on pc while playing so that's all for now in this video thank you